Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review The Third Lover, which is being released on Blu-ray courtesy of Kino Lorber on February 25th, 2020. So The Third Lover is an um, uh, early 60s film from the great French New Wave director Claude Chabrol, who uh, had earlier directed such uh, celebrated films such as Le Beau Serge, uh, The Cousins, and of course Les Bonnes Femmes. Uh, the rest of the 1960s he kind of uh, languished behind some of the other French New Wave artists like Truffaut and Godard uh, until uh, he scored a major international hit with Les Biches and then went on to do a series of uh, uh, notable celebrated uh, thrillers. Uh, so The Third Lover which he co-wrote under a pseudonym, Marshall Matthew, which he only also used on the film Ophelia, is kind of a, a reworking of Othello uh, on a very small scale, as told through the main character, uh, played by Jacques Cherrier, uh, who is a French leading man throughout the 1960s. He's a failed writer who takes a job in Germany, he's a stranger in a strange land, until he uh, hooks up with uh, Helene, played by Chabrol's wife, Stéphane Audron. Uh, who invites him into her home. Uh, she's married to a successful writer, played by the Austrian actor Walter Reier, who you might recognize from the Sissy film series with Romy Schneider or uh, Fritz Lang's The Tiger of Bengal. So he's narrating throughout his mind how he wants to kind of infiltrate this marriage and take Helene for himself. Uh, and of course things uh, don't go as planned. Uh, it's uh, beautifully shot by Chabrol's regular DP, Jean Rabir, who also did Cleo from 5 to 7 for Anya Svarda. Uh, a lot of familiar themes here uh, that would be revisited time and again uh, with Fritz Lang's marital dramas, such as uh, The Unfaithful Wife, which was, of course, remade with Diane Lane in Unfaithful, L'Enfer. Uh, it feels like something that uh, you would have expected Daphne du Maurier to write. Uh, Adron is beautiful, uh, of course, to watch and kind of, as in most of her films by Chabrol is the main focal point. Um, I really like uh, the tagline for the film is, three's a crowd until she whispered, three's aloud. Uh, of course, things don't go as planned. It's a, it's a brief, swift, 80 minute film. It's a, a great uh, visitation, a recuperation of one of Chabrol's uh, lesser known titles from this period um, and I would give the film three out of five stars and Kino Lorber's release also three out of five stars. Thank you. Hey this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.